Well, howdy diddly dandy there, Jams to I, Captain of the Steves, and today, Jams, for you guys, in the Viewerverse, I've got a little bit of a theory. So I'm wondering whether we might get a new enemy type coming into the verse. Now, they have just added in these corrupted sentinels, but are they really an enemy? I mean, they're there to sort of protect the planet. Should you interfere with the Gravitino balls, they're going to turn up and they're going to try and take you out. And yet, they're corrupted. But why are they corrupted? The thing that's causing the corruption, I believe, is the true enemy behind these sentinels i mean the sentinels are just space police so the space peppers so what could be causing the corruption of these sentinels and are there any other sentinel types that might appear inside of the actual verse that could pose a new threat but well, i think we've got hints of a little bit of both of that going on so if you do combat with these corrupted sentinels for long enough you are going to get given a sort of homing device one of these an echolocator thing that i've just hit on up we'll have a better look at it at a moment i'll make it a bit bigger on the screen for you because it has got some rather tantalizing text to this thing the harmonic echo detector so here we go let's uh, bring that up on screen come on yeah i want to lock that in we're going to go to one of these sites as well because there's something that's kind of interesting there too so here you go echo locator a curious mesh of old and new technology a hybrid between two entirely separate methods of creation people Inside of the lore, it does mention another race that's sort of a mixture between organic and mechanical materials, but we'll get to that later. Now, when you do go to one of these harmonic sites, this campsite, I believe this campsite belongs to Sentinels. One, because there's a Sentinel multi-tool cabinet, and another is there's a dead Sentinel sort of unit in here that looks like it might be bipedal people. So yeah, as you can see, there's a hand there twitching about still, and there's definitely a head. There's also some legs here. Now it does ask to be reassembled and you can feed it lost circuits. Sadly, you can't reassemble it. But you also find these by also the crash ships, hinting that it might be the pilot of the ship. And they give you a code. They give you those sort of digits that you can work out and it comes to say void mother. And yes, yeah, so I'm wondering whether we might get to see bipedal sentinels at some point, people. I mean, we've got the actual ships and these are the pilots. So perhaps we might actually be able to do combat with these bipedal sentinels at some stage people now they haven't got orange crystals all over them so they don't appear to be corrupted so i think these are normal centralized units but we haven't come across any or done any combat with them on planet surfaces but could that come to future fruition so second theory people is the station core now inside the station core you can actually input an override core now i'm wondering whether you do that maybe it might take you into the realm of glass or into an alternative reality perhaps even the void or bring in some sort of strange sort of corrupted travelers now sometimes inside the station you can see corrupted travelers up on this top mezzanine like this little chappy over here which is rather curious isn't he let's go and talk to them now when you talk to these they give you quite a lot of lore now i've done a whole playlist on all of the traveler lore take a look at it i'll put it in the top right hand corner and see some of the stuff that they say because they mention multi swords and all sorts not multi tools multi swords yeah pretty darn freaking weirdness and they've mentioned that their realm has got a king or something it's very odd very peculiar but even this encounter is very peculiar as well they've never heard of the gecko viking or corvax and i asked them if they know of the atlas and they say no to that too so definitely not from our verse so what verse are these from are they dwelling inside the realm of glass or are they some sort of being that lurks inside of the water that have been warned not to drink who freaking knows perhaps they're from the void now although that you get void mother down on the planets you can feed the station core once and after you feed it once it gives you a load of digits and it says i see her i see her and the void mother so yeah so this the first option, the first thing that I think the first theory is corrupted sentinels and bipedal sentinels, perhaps. The second is these sort of corrupted sort of travellers, these sort of weird travellers that are from another dimension. And maybe the station core will have something to do with bringing us into fruition to there. Another, like I mentioned earlier, is that there's a mention of an organic and metallic race. Now, if you change yourself to a traveller and you've got this, which is the horrific 
flesh helmet that we got through doing a Halloween event with the scrap vendor in the station, you can get this sort of look. Now there's also been added these weird creatures on planets that sort of have hints of the void, especially when you hit up all the lore inside of the derelict freighters. Now I'm wondering whether there might be a race of those sort of looking creatures, half sort of flesh, half sort of mechanical. So there's three different options there people, sentinel bipedals, you've also got travellers from the travellers graves that might sort of be corrupted and then also those fleshy ones what do you think's more likely goodbye goodbye and goodbye again well thank you very much for watching if you like what you see please hit a like and a subscribe and i'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on patreon and over on youtube membership thanking you backers and if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.